Hello everyone, this is Shotanik, back once again to discuss the solution of today's position of the day. Well, the problem we have to raise by someone who is arguably one of the greatest composers of all times. We are talking about Lev Loshinsky. Unfortunately, I know very little about his life, although I have had the pleasure of solving many of his excellent problems. But anyway, a simple Google search reveals that he was a Soviet chess composer. He was born in Warsaw, Poland, and he died in Moscow, Russia. And if you dig a bit more, then you reach Eric Hoover's very informative blog, where he writes that Lev Loshinsky and Alexander Hertzman actually helped Alexei Troitsky, the great pioneer of endgame studies, to write some of his books. And there, he also refers to Loshinsky as the greatest expert of three movers. So dear friends, in a way, the position we have today is a three mover by the greatest three mover expert that there ever was. The diagram is there on your screens. It is wide to move and mate in three in this position. Okay, now before we get into the solution, I would as usual like to give you some hints. So first of all, when you see a rook and a bishop placed in this manner, you try to find their lines of intersection. And you get to the square, this very important square, e5. Now, the, now your main idea in this position should be to place one of your pieces on this key square e5. This is known as the Novotny sacrifice. How does this help? Well, let's look at it. Let's look at the move bishop to e5 here, placing the bishop in the line, line of intersection of these two pieces. This rook on c5 and this bishop on a1. How does this help? Well, it, is all, it already looks like a very powerful move. Because now, white threatens queen to f6 mate as well as queen into f5 checkmate. So there is a double threat in the position. And the problem is, black can't really capture the bishop on e5. Because for instance, if black goes rook into e5 here, then this bishop's line on the a1 h8 diagonal is interfered. And this allows white to go queen to f6. And this is checkmate. Similarly, black can't play bishop into e5 here as well, because that interferes with the rook's line on the fifth flank and allows queen into f5 checkmate. So we see how powerful this move bishop to e5 is. But unfortunately, black has a very subtle refutation here. Black can go bishop to d5 here. The idea is to pin this, this queen on e6. And once this queen on e6 is pinned, the threats of queen to f6 and queen into f5 are both nullified. So that is the reason why white can't go bishop to e5 right away, even though it is a very powerful move and it looks like a promising try. Going back, now let's look at the move rook to e5, placing the rook on the line of intersection of this rook on c5 and this bishop on a1. How does this help? Well, this is once again a very powerful move, and the threat once again is queen to f6 mate and queen into f5 mate. Double threat. Can black capture the rook on e5? Well, once again, this is not possible because rook into e5 allows queen f6 mate. And similarly, bishop into e5 allows queen into f5 mate. The other important thing, the other interesting thing to note is that black can't really play bishop to d5 here. The idea of pinning this queen on e6 because bishop d5 here obstructs the rook's line on c5 and allows rook into f5 checkmate. So in this position, when rook, when white plays rook to e5, bishop d5 doesn't work as a refutation anymore. But in this case, black has another nice subtle refutation, and that is b3 to b2. Suddenly you see that this queen on a2 is unleashed, and it pins this queen on e6, stopping the threats of queen f6 and queen into f5 at the same time. So let's go back. You would like to play rook e5 or bishop e5 here. Both these moves look very promising. 
but you can't do it right away because black has these resources. Black can actually pin the queen on e6. So what you have to do here is you have to come up with an alternative threat to weaken black's position first and then proceed with the Novotny sacrifices. So that's my hint to you. Pause this video and try to find the key, the alternative threat in the position. Okay, I, I hope you gave it a good think. Now is the time for me to diverse the solution. Well, the key move is rook to e3. A fantastic move. Now what's the idea here? The threat in this position, the new threat, in fact, in this position is bishop into f4 check. And once black plays knight into f4 here, then white can go rook g3 and it's, and it's a checkmate. So, for instance, if black plays a meaningless casual move like queen to a3 here, then white simply realizes this threat. White goes bishop into f4, black is forced to play knight into f4, and now comes rook g3 with checkmate. The other thing to note is that black can't really go uh, f into e3 here, because that simply allows f4 check. And now after knight into f4, bishop into f4 is checkmate. So you can't take the rook on e3, even though it is on breeze. So that's the beauty of this uh, key move. So what black has to do here is black has to come up with appropriate defenses and stop this idea of bishop into f4 followed by rook g3 knight. And how does black do so? Well, black has two options here. One is to simply defend the spawn on f4 and the other is to stop this rook on e3 from going to g3. So let's look at it one by one. The first defense is rook 1 to c4, simply defending this pawn on f4. Notice that black can't really defend with this rook because then this simply allows queen into f5 net. So black has to go rook 1 to c4 here and defend this pawn on f4. And now you can see that bishop into f4 is not possible anymore. But the interesting thing to, thing to note is that once black has played this move rook to c4, the queen's line on this diagonal has been blocked. So now this queen on a2 can't pin this uh, queen on e6 anymore. So now is the time for white to go with the Novotny sacrifice, rook to e5. And this is absolutely decisive. Now the threat is queen into f6, queen into f5 and queen f6 met. And this cannot be prevented. So if you if you want to pin the queen with bishop d5, then simply rook, rook f5 comes with checkmate. And if you capture the rook, then we, we have seen what happens. This simply allows queen f6 mate, and bishop into e5 allows queen into f5 mate. So rook 1 to c4 blocks this queen on a2 and allows rook to e5 to become the decisive move in the position. Now let's go back. The other, de the other defense that black has at its disposal is f f4 to f3. Now what does this do? This blocks this uh, rook on e3 from going to g3 and therefore bishop f4 check and rook g3 mate is not there anymore. So this is a defense. But once again, f3 comes with a weakness. Now you can see that this bishop's line has been blocked. It can't go to d5 anymore and pin this queen on e6. So once again, white now goes with the Novotny sacrifice. White plays bishop to e5 now, the other Novotny sacrifice. And there is absolutely no, uh, no way to prevent queen f6 and queen into f5 at the same time anymore. So if black goes b3 to b2 here, the idea of pinning the queen on e6, you have to see that this bishop's line is interfered. And now simply comes bishop to f6 and it's a checkmate. And we have seen what happens if black attempts to take the bishop on e5. Rook into e5 simply allows queen f6 mate. And bishop into e5 allows queen into f5 checkmate. So that was the idea of today's problem. 
So let's go back a bit. Yeah, in brief, white wanted to get either bishop to e5 or rook e5 in this position. This was the main idea that white had. But black had these spinning resources. He could pin the e6 queen in each of these cases. So what white came up with was a fold plan. He came up with this move, rook to e3, which had this new threat, introduced a new threat in the position, bishop into f4 check followed by rook g3 mate. And this forced black to play the moves, rook 1 to c4, either rook 1 to c4, which blocks the queen's line on a2 g8 diagonal, or the move uh, f4 to f3, which blocked the line of this, this bishop on g2. Thus allowing black, thus allowing white to finally go ahead with the Novotny sacrifices. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this session. We will be back tomorrow with something new. Till then, goodbye and take care.